and we're back with the next episode of Final Fantasy Online. Don't forget to hit like, share this video if you can, and most definitely subscribe. Lucinia's inner turmoil is writ plain in her face. Hmm, sorry I was... I'm still finding it hard to come to terms with all that's happening. Now that you're here, though, uh, I'm hoping things might change for the better. You know, I've worked up quite a sweat from all that running about, so I leave space around the fire for the others. As you can tell, they're in far worse state than me. We were planning to look for somewhere warmer and with more food, but they're not going anywhere until we nurse them back to health. Which uh, I don't know how to do. Is there anything you can do to help them? Uh, let's see. Nice, there's a fire going. I can treat their frostbite and their wounds, but it will take some time for the fire to do its work. Now, would you be good? Would you be. Wait, now. Oh, sorry. Now would be a good occasion to make use of Emmanuel Lane's. Emmanuel Lane's tinctures. The ones that can warm the body from the inside out. Would you mind sharing. Ah! Sorry. Wait, why is it like a radio going? That sounds like relatively creepy. Is that it? A little radio there? Like war-torn Russia or something. Anyway. Now would be a good occasion to make use of Emmanuel Lane's tinctures. The ones that can warm the body from the inside out. Would you, ma would you make sure everyone gets one? The numbness is beginning to subside, though I suspect once the fire dies, it will return with a vengeance. Okay, tincture. Being gifts from the notoriously unreliable Emanon Lane, it is highly doubtful this concoction will have the intended effect. If only there were willing and more importantly, unwitting volunteers on whom to test them. Okay, let's Warming tincture? I've never heard of such a thing. No harm in trying. But tell me, have you heard aught of the city? Though calling it that seems absurd after what's happened, it's nothing but ruins now. The few buildings sta still standing offer no more than meager protection from the wind and snow. Food production, water purification and mag the magitech that sustained us has come to a grinding halt. What machina will remains what machina that remains operational cannot be run for lack of cerulean. Of course, cerulea engines is full of that stuff for all the good it does us. No one here knows the first thing about extraction or refinement. See, that's a big problem. Yeah, that is a cool radio. See, that's one of the big problems with uh, automation in society. Like, if you keep automating everything, eventually people are just so dependent that they don't have the skills to you know, fix things when things go wrong. Quite a sad situation. All is well. Yes, never better. Okay, send them some tincture, see if it works. Oh, what sweet libation is this? Is it poison by any chance? <laughs> Twas a joke, a joke. <sighs> if I laugh, tis that I may not weep. So said the poet, and alas, my tears would freeze on my cheek ere they fell. Were they the blessed damned to bear witness to the fall of the great empire while our brethren lie dead or live on as puppets of flesh? First came the war, then came the roar. When mornings came, Garlemald was no more. 
In a cacophony of gunfire, explosions and screams was our beloved capital raised to the ground. From the rubble rose the disheveled remnants, their lavish finery caked in ash as they shuffled mindlessly towards the palace. Each bearing a fragment of stone or metal, an offering perhaps to the architect of our destruction. A hopeful few tried to reason with the deranged, only to be beaten for their kindness. But I knew better than to plead with the horde. I fled with my health, if not my conscience preserved. Now I wait with my fellow cowards for our final judgment. I don't know why I find it much easier to read that kind of English than actual normal English. It's pretty crazy. Okay. What do you want? And this guy looks cool. He should be like protagonist in the game. Hmm, a tincture. May as well drink it, I suppose. This? It's a radio. You don't have them where you come from, I take it? We use them to listen to messages sent by others, even our great, even over great distances. We got this conch cells, shells, you know. There are different types, but this model is f by far the most popular. Made with quality components, crafted with the finest ore, sourced from Locus Ammonus, it is. Not all that useful since the capital fell into ruin. The people at the broadcasting station must have either fled or ended up like all the others. Because all we've been hearing is the same music being played over and over again. Home beyond the horizon and O day to the brave men and women sent to reclaim our ancestral homeland of Locus Ammonus. We may have founded an empire in these frozen wastes, but we always hope to take back what was once ours. It is a solemn reminder that though we must suffer great hardship, better days will surely come. Despite everything, I believe that Emperor Varus yet lives and that he speaks to us through our radios. It was a cunning strategy faking his murder he mustn't have he mustn't have foreseen this catastrophe and chosen to conceal himself that he may one day make his triumphant return uh, yes yes i'm sure of it emperor varus would not be defeated so easily He is in for a lot of disappointment. What's that? So this is what you gave the others. Thank you. I'll save it for later. Actually, uh, I have a few things to ask you. Are you part of the group staying in Laterum? I saw Legatus Virgilia's troops heading towards the Magna Glaces a few days ago. Are they the ones you encountered? Camp Broken Glass, you call it. And Virgilia and her men are all there now? Hmm... So how did you reach the Magna Glaces? Did you cross the mountains on foot? Airships? There, then there might be a way to... The Cynia. Oh, frail voice. The Cynia. Where is everyone? Uh, is something the matter? Uh, 
a voice from inside, you say. Uh, you must be imagining things. Everyone's out here. Perhaps a baby or Masty has found his way into the house. It wouldn't be the first time. Without the soldiers to scare them off, wild animals have been roaring closer to the settlements. Some have been known to attack people too. Oh, she is sketch, bro. Uh, I've just an idea. If you and yours are strong enough to defeat Legatus, then surely a few beasts shouldn't pose a threat. If you've a mind to continue helping us, perhaps you could head to the other side of the lake. There's a small group of tappers living there, people whose job was to extract ceruleum. They still do, from what I, I, we can tell. I've already tried asking if they would share their fuels with us, but they're not willing to give it away. They want food in exchange, lots of foods, and that's something we don't have and can't get on our own. On top of that, to reach their den, we'd have to make our way past all those creatures. Would you be willing to go in our place? We only need enough ceruleum to last until the others are strong enough to travel to your camp. If the offer still stands, that is. Oh, uh, I don't expect you to give up your own supplies, but there might be another way to pay the tappers. You'd better watch out for baby Elmastis while we're away. Mm, uh, yes, of course. Uh, if I see any, uh, I'll be sure to shoot them away. Uh, to reach Tappers Den, you'll have to cross the lake. Uh, the thick, uh, the ice is thick enough to support a person's weight, but if you rather not risk it, you'll need to take the long way around. Finding the entrance can be a tricky too, uh, so it's easier to just look for someone standing guard outside. However, um, you, however you decide to head there, please be careful. I want to kick inside that door. Let me in. Who is she hiding in there? Who could it be? What if she, they're like spies and uh, she's just getting information from us so we can, so they can spy, so they can send information back home. And inside the building are POWs or something. Cerulea engines. Who goes there? How did you find us? What do you mean I stand out like a sore thumb? Hmm, if the pure bloods over at Victor's spoils hadn't given away our location, you'd never have found us. Those stuck up arseholes thought they could come waltzing in here demanding ceruleum with nothing to offer in return. Ha! Looks. Looks like the boots on the other foot now. The capital's gone to shite. So they've resorted to sending you to negotiate? <laughs> I know your game, sellsword. If they think we'll give you give in to intimidation, they've got another thing coming. You asked for it.
pretty crazy that just doing solo moves on each enemy is actually faster than doing AoE. There you are. Just after you left, Licinia asked me to go and catch up with you in case you needed a hand. Someone must have let slip that I have a little experience in transporting barrels of ceruleum. So this is a tapper's den. Well then, after you. Who are you? What happened to the guards? Eorzeans and rebels here to save the people of Garlemald? That doesn't make any goddamn sense. What in the hells would you pass up this chance to put those imperial bastards to the sword? Let me guess. None of you are Garlean? You're brought here from other lands? Gurbania, Yangtzea, Boja, Dalmaska, to name but a few. Some dragged here against our will. Others fed bollocks about a better life. All put to work extracting ceruleum. All given the esteemed title of An, placing us firmly at the bottom rung of the ladder. But the old hierarchy means nothing in the new Garlemald, says we. About the only thing that's escaped more or less unscathed is Cerulea engines, still sustaining us, even with our paymasters out of the picture. We hear you're experts in drawing up Ceruleum from the bottom of the lake, but how can you do it if it's frozen over? Ha! Wouldn't you like to know? Trade secrets, I'm afraid. At any rate, it's not as if Ceruleum is used for much these days. With what city in ruins? We take enough power. To, we take enough to power our heaters and save the surplus for later. And though it helps stave off the cold, it does sod all about our hunger unless we can trade it anyway. Speaking of which, be sure to sell your contingent. We've got the ceruleum by the barrelful. If they are interested, we'll exchange it for whatever provisions they're willing to spare. We can certainly ask, but if you're all free to go now, why carry on living here? Free to go? Where? Even if you manage to get back to our homelands, there'd be nothing left for us. Thanks to the Empire, and the knowledge and skills we acquired working here would be practically useless outside of Garlemald. So we're staying here for the time being. Long as there, it, there's a need for Ceruleum, we'll find a way to get by. Even as Garlemald, as we knew it, is gone for good. Gone for good. Regardless of the Ilzebard contingent, regardless of what the Ilzebard contingent does for the people of Garlemond, the Empire itself is already a thing of the past. For many, that would be a cause for celebration, while for others, their whole way of life will have been turned upside down. After all the atrocities committed in the Empire's name, perhaps it is best for the that it is a cons it is consigned to history but what of the ordinary people their lives their stories should they be forgotten too 
Hmm, I suppose there'll be plenty of time to ponder that later. For now, let's see what about getting some ceruleum. Cool. Uh, I keep getting too close to the mic. Hopefully it's not too loud. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Next episode will be at the end of the trail. Maybe we'll find out what exactly is Lucenia, Lucenia hiding. It's a very nice little interesting diverse group of individuals. Oh, whoa. It's got that wolf guy in it. Bro, uh, this guy, right? Stormblood, right? That's the game. And I was like looking at this guy and uh, personally think they should have had this guy as like a playable race. Hey, look at this guy. Nice. They're called Lycan something. Would have played him. I do have to say their mouths are a bit tiny though. And a bit strangely tiny. You know? Instead, we got rabbits. Rabbit, 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 ding dongs. Right. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe.